Hello world, uh, today I would like to talk to you uh, about five questions that you should be uh, asking yourself before you migrate uh, to the cloud. I'd like to pose those questions, talk about the considerations around them, uh, allow you to think about what the answers are to them, um, and uh, then look forward to your, your feedback on, on what you think uh, as to the uh, relevance uh, as uh, whether or not I'm right, whether or not you would ask different questions um, before you would migrate to cloud, or for those of you who are migrating or uh, or have migrated, uh, really, really interested to hear your feedback. So before we migrate to cloud, question number one, why am I doing this? Uh, it sounds almost like a ridiculous question, uh, but I think in, uh, in this, this, this current era of technology, uh, it's one of the most important questions. Uh, and I think what we've seen from early adopters of cloud is that this is one of the most pertinent questions. Why am I doing this? Why am I moving to cloud? Uh, there's definitely this belief that cloud is the, uh, the panacea, the, the future of, of hosting, of services, of the, the way applications uh, and the like should be consumed. But realistically, we have to look at why we're doing that. Does it suit our business? Is it appropriate? Uh, is it cost effective? Um, you know, have all of these considerations been, uh, been, been thought through before we actually uh, embark on this journey? Sometimes we believe that cloud is just simply the right answer. And in many cases, it really is. But why are we doing it now? Why are we going there? We really need to understand what those, what those things are before we, we go anywhere at all. So that would be my number one question I'd be asking uh, before migration to cloud. Question number two, I'd be asking, where am I going? Okay, now I'm, I'm leaning more specifically on the public cloud space here. So I'm thinking uh, the, the likes of the big boys, you know, we know that most people like to move services uh, more uh, prominently into the likes of uh, Amazon or Azure, uh, Google, of course, and, and even Oracle and the likes of those guys, not as far behind uh, as you may think. But where are we going? And to a degree, why are we going there? You know, have we selected just, let's say, Amazon Web Services? Have we selected just Microsoft Azure? Have we selected uh, a mixture of those? And why? Um, I've seen lots and lots of cases where uh, there have been decisions made uh, based primarily on uh, what I like to call fanboyism. Uh, it's uh, who's had the, uh, the, the best the best marketing spiel, what's the most exciting to work with, and that's not the right reason to go to one of those clouds. Um, there are often far better reasons uh, for why you migrate applications or services uh, to, to those different clouds and way, uh, sorry, why you may use multi-cloud as an approach and why in some instances it may be better to use just one cloud. So have you asked yourself that question? Where am I going? And realistically, why am I going there? Third question, how can I build my foundation? Nice and near and dear to, to my heart, being, being a network guy that I am, uh, I think this is often very overlooked. Um, cloud, and again, talking specifically to public cloud, uh, was, was constructed very much in a way to try and remove considerations for lower level networking. And I absolutely understand why that was done. Um, because, you know, making that easy, making that simple, taking that pain away, particularly from, from developers, from applications people, services people, absolutely makes perfect sense. However, you still need a foundation. You still need a robust and thought through architecture. Uh, just spinning up a number of VNets or a number of VPCs is really not a great way to manage your cloud. Not spinning up enough VNets or VPCs is not a great way to manage a cloud. The consideration of how those things interact, how they knit together is important to think through in advance rather than as you go. Uh, and that becomes even more pertinent when you're talking about a multi-cloud environment. Uh, I've seen many examples of where the, uh, the gluing together of, uh, of again, let's, let's lean on Azure and, and AWS, uh, is done via a multitude of internet VPNs. And, and when I've been in positions to challenge this, I'm often given the answer, well, it works, it's easy and it works. It, it does, it does work, 
Uh, and yes, it's very easy to spin up, but is it the right answer? Uh, and how out of control can that become? If you haven't thought through the foundations of what you're building in cloud and how that may grow, it could very quickly become, uh, ironically, a monolith uh, and be in a considerably worse position than uh, the, the data centers and the, the on-premise that you've likely uh, migrated from or are in the process of migrating from. So that is a, a really important thought uh, and feature and one that I'd want to know before I was moving uh, anywhere. Question number four, what does my transitive state look like? Uh, again, I think this is something that is often thought about after or during a migration rather than before. So often we know what we've got, uh, what it looks like today, and we've got our vision of what the future is, where we'd like it to go, what we'd like it to be, and that's great. But there is going to be a transitive state. You know, the bigger the estate that you're, you're working with, the bigger the, the company you are or, or government entity you may be, obviously everything can't just be moved in, in, a, in an evening. And so in moving some of your services, your applications, when you move them to cloud, many of them will need to call back to your on-premise, to your data centers, vice versa, your data centers, your on-premise need to call forward into the cloud. You have to think about exactly what you're moving when, making sure that that plan is absolutely as robust as it can be for what's moving in what order, what complications does that actually introduce that we may not previously have had. You know, moving to, to cloud in this instance can actually uh, introduce new problems that you didn't have. So you, uh, whilst you're in this transitive state, you, you're actually in a worse position than where your, your current mode of operations was. So you have to think about what that's gonna look like, how long that's going to take, um, planning the usual slippages and concerns. Um, doesn't mean that things can't be done in an agile way. We all love agile, uh, very much word of the last three years, um, but it still needs to be thought through. You know, cloud is not an answer to, uh, to a lack of, of planning. It really isn't. Uh, it's not cloud's fault if you don't plan. Uh, so really, really does need to be thought through in advance. Uh, and finally, uh, the fifth question would be, how can I continuously improve? Um, and that, again, that you might think that that's a question you'd want to ask yourself uh, whilst you're moving or after you've moved, part of you know, the usual kind of cycle of continual improvement. Um, I would want to think about that before I've moved. I would want a plan for what stage two, stage three, stage four looks like before I've even started embarking on stage one. You know, IT at the moment, technology, use of cloud, the, it, it's, it's exponentially growing. The time it takes you, even if it's a very small uh, passage of time to, to get to the state you want to get to means that you are immediately going to be at the next phase of change. And you need to be thinking in advance as to what that could look like. And that may be growth within your cloud space. It might be the introduction of other clouds, other services. It, it could be a, a wealth of things, but having again, a plan, a thought process as to what that will be looking like uh, as, as far into the future as you feel you can go, cognizant of the fact that of course you can change it, but just having that plan and, and having that thought process uh, ready to you ahead of time will, uh, will set you in, in good stead. So, uh, so yeah, there's, there's five, five questions I'd be asking um, before I was uh, migrating to cloud. I do appreciate that, that cloud is, uh, is a, a catch-all word, covers a lot of things. I talk about that a lot. I have lent on more specifically the use of public cloud, almost more specifically um, examples that would lend themselves to, to IaaS. I appreciate that. Um, but I would be interested to hear uh, whether or not those are questions, again, that you've asked yourself, whether you'd agree that they're the most pertinent questions, are there other questions that should be asked? Um, also, really interesting to hear these questions you didn't ask yourself, you started to migrate, you've moved on that cloud journey, and you wish you had have asked those questions. Uh, that, that kind of feedback is how we, we all learn. Um, please do get in touch, tell me what you think, and uh, yeah, I look forward to, uh, look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.